This is going to be one of the biggest years of my life, but I'm here for it. I've prepared the best that I possibly can to put myself in the best position this year. Trust me when I say this. The time is now. What's up everybody? Welcome back to The Time Is Now. It's a very uh, melancholy, I think that's the right name, melancholy moment of this is the first big video of the season. This is the first show of the season. So I'm very, very excited for that. But also you get that like bitterness of like, ah, you know what, here comes the, the beginning of the end, but not the beginning of the end because we've got weeks and weeks left. So. It's currently about quarter past six in the morning. Um, I have just weighed myself. I have just taken some photos for Cal. Two very important things that we were looking to manipulate over this night was water. Um, I haven't drunk any water since 6 p.m. Not bad to tell yesterday, so it's been 12 hours so far. We also used some mild diuretics and H2O remove. So we've been trying to just pull water out from under the skin and we've done it. We've really, really done it. I feel saran wrapped. I feel tight. I feel very, very full. The goal is just to hold this exact look now all morning. So I'm just gonna wait for instructions from Cal. We're gonna go through the day, but we're gonna keep you flying the wall, just like we love to do. We're gonna just keep you informed of the things that we're doing. And, and this is this is show day number one, guys. This is the MK Classic. We're in Maidenhead. Show number one. The goal remains the same. The time is now. Let's do this. So I've been given the all clear for a espresso. No water and no food today. We are on the money, we're absolutely perfect. Uh, we're full, we're dry, maybe a tiny little bit more fluid to come off, Carl says. Um, so I've literally got this small espresso for the next six to seven hours after the last 18 hours of no water. Uh, he also says, if I feel like I'm getting low blood sugar, have a little bit of chicken. <laughs> Cheers, Cal. Uh, but we're not gonna eat. Um, to be fair, when you're so focused on, on a game day, when you're so focused on the task at hand, you don't really care, you just ignore it. Like last night was the worst night of sleep in my life. I felt like I had sand in my mouth. But you just like, I kept looking at my phone, I was like, get to the next hour, get to the next hour. And then I woke up and felt like I hadn't slept. Um, so I'm just going to sip on this I'm, I'm going to be that guy I'm probably going to go out through a few emails and do a little bit of work we ain't got nothing else to do we've got to wait around for the next couple of hours I'll probably throw that chicken in a pan in a minute and um, I've got my time at 10.30 so we'll kick back make a plan Supermarket chicken in a long time. So guys, if you're trying to maintain the look, you don't need to put more carbohydrates in. Carbohydrates are what affect the look. Protein gonna keep you satiated, they're gonna hold that as energy rather than the carbohydrates and burn through those. The chicken here is gonna act as a vessel. It's either gonna be a vessel for just protein, or it's gonna be a vessel for us to throw some salt on top and just literally, obviously I've not had salt in a long time either, I've not had salt since about 6, about 3 p.m. yesterday, so the goal will be add a bit of salt in, add a little bit of water, maybe throw a little bit of sugar in, and that's going to be enough to just bring the extra carbohydrates to the surface and pump up, so it's going to be plain chicken, we may put rice on it, sorry, we may put salt on it, probably not. Airbnb it's about quarter past 20 past nine uh, I need to go meet Cal the coach obviously we're gonna go have a little bit of a look at the physique just assess if there's anything that we need to do or nothing that we need to do it takes us about 25 minutes to get there um, I've got a second tan at 10 30 so we've got about an hour you know what it's like on show day you want to get there a little bit earlier um, so 10.30 will be at the top up and tan, most likely that will run for about half an hour, 45 minutes to about quarter past 11. 
and then show days at 12. Men's physique first class comes on at 12. I'll probably be the fourth or fifth class because it's on height based. Um, so most likely towards one o'clock will be when we come on, but we'll keep assessing it as we go. Anything that we pick up, we'll bring up on the camera, but if not, we'll see you in a little bit. Uh, final coat of the tan is on. Cal had a look. No food, no drink, just stay still. Thank you. Oh my God. <laughs> Uh, so we're just going to go sit in the car. It's, it's unfortunately one of those, it's like bittersweet because you work really hard, you want to come and enjoy the show and enjoy people playing, uh, playing, we don't play bodybuilding, enjoy people competing. Um, but we've got to wait our turn for stage just because of the, the pandemic, which is what it is, but it's very well run, it's very organized. I've had my top 10. So we're going to sit in the car now, chill out for a little bit. Uh, in about half an hour, I'm going to be popping a Cialis those of you guys that don't know, it's just to get you willy hard. It basically promotes nitric oxide production. Obviously, I'm not going to be getting a hard on on stage because I am not sexually aroused on stage. Instead, it's going to massively drive up your nitric oxide production. It's going to massively drive up your vascularity and your blood flow. So a little bit of Cialis about an hour before stage. Be Gucci, mate. Second place, could we take a medal for number 553, Matt Manukowski, leading our winner. 569, Josh Bridgman. Just need the side of the hotspot, guys. Best men's physique pose. Look at the cameras, please. And just the winner on his own. Thank you, Josh. If you could take your medal off at the side of the stage and come straight back. Josh, we 
We've seen you before. We have. When were you last here? 2019. It took this long to get that big. Yeah, I did indeed, yeah, day by day. <laughs> anybody, anybody you want to say thank you to? Uh, absolutely. My girlfriend, my mum, uh, Andy, my videographer, and also uh, Carol, my sublime coach. And you guys. Most uh, importantly. Phew. That's the last. So, one last round of applause at the pose which tells everybody I just won the entire show for Mr. Josh Bridgman, overall winner, Men's Physique, MK Classic 2021. Go there for a second. It's a little bit. A little bit. It's a little bit. We did it, baby. Incredible. I did. I did think I was I know. I, was, I, was, I think everyone was like, what's going on? I think they just put him in the middle just to see what he looked like compared to everyone else. I mean, you look good. So there we have it, guys, girls, everyone watching. First one down. We took the overall absolutely incredible. Incredible feeling. A little bit of a squeaky bum time at the end. They moved me out the middle. Generally in bodybuilding, they'll put the first place in the middle, they'll compare second and third, and then they'll move people around accordingly. I had one guy in my mind I didn't want to be swapped with, and they swapped me with him, because he was the biggest dude, and I thought, please don't go for the big dude, because there's some criteria with men's physique. I feel like I fit that a little bit better. And as soon as they moved me out, I was just gutted, and I could hear my mum screaming, and it was totally shit. <laughs> and, uh, but we came through, uh, we won. I'm extremely happy. I can't wait to go back over the footage and just kind of see what we can tweak. I already can think of things I can tweak. I definitely messed up my posing a little bit. Definitely have more confidence in my posing, holding myself on stage. First time out, first time out in two, two years. So a little bit rusty. Uh, me and Cal obviously got a lot of information based off the peak, the look, the pictures, and we can tweak things to refine them as we come into the next show. So we are now three weeks out, guys. Three weeks out from the Portugal show, which is my first pro qualifier of the year. That's three weeks to improve. That's 21 days to get sharper, leaner, and to be able to bring a better package come the 30th of May. So do I do anything else in this video? I don't think I do anything else in the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. One win, one overall. The pro card is next. The pro show, pro qualifier is next. Let's fucking go. The time is now. Peace and love, everybody. Bye-bye.